Tailored AI. 4. What is AI for non-techies? This video is the first in an eight-part series based on my notes from 2018 and 2019. It shows what I understood about AI five years ago. It's amazing how much has changed in five years. I hope you enjoy the video and I hope this series helps you learn useful things about AI. Google Artificial Intelligence or AI and you get a page that shows over 1 billion hits. But what exactly is AI? And how can we non-techies, or at least non-software engineers, understand AI? After working at Google for two and a half years and working with the Google AI org for a little over a year, I feel a fuzzy understanding of AI blossoming. AI is the set of tools and techniques that allow trained SWEs and researchers to come up with and or create useful applications from vast amount of data. The AI toolset keeps growing and already includes Kubernetes, bots and diagnosis of eye conditions, breast cancer and heart attacks. AI techniques are expanding and include neural nets, adversarial networks and classifiers. Useful applications from AI include tagging friends in photos, pioneered by Facebook, you might like these recommendations, pioneered by Amazon, reviewing resumes to shortlist job candidates and automating tasks and jobs. Two things excite me the most about AI. 1. What's on the horizon for tools and 2. The possible useful applications of the future. We are entering a period of AI tools that will automate model building and make AI accessible for non-techies. Once we non-techies get our hands on AI tools, we will use AI to help us do many things we can only imagine. For example, I would love to have a tool that reviews all my notes from the hundreds of books I have read and list the top 10 insights from the these books. I would love to have an AI that produces compelling and beautiful visuals for presentations I will make. I would love to have an AI to creates the media for the lectures I give. I know not very creative but you have to admit very functional. I suspect those who are much more creative than me, like my wife Winnie, will make more interesting applications. Winnie would likely make an application that tells you the right skincare products for you and automates your ability to get said product made and delivered to you. Well that's what I knew five years ago. I didn't and couldn't imagine how much progress would be made in the AI space in just five short years. In the next video, I will share how I underestimated the threat that AI would pose. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and share this video.